Right, guys, we're now going to look at task 10.9. Uh, in this task, you'll notice that there was an opening balance given to us for accumulated depreciation equipment. Okay, so that makes it a little bit different to uh, 10.8. Again, the accounts involved, guys, with this adjustment are depreciation and accumulated depreciation, remembering that that accumulated depreciation is the contra asset account, which is offsetting that value of that asset that is depreciated. In this question, you'll see that they give us vehicles at a cost price of 340,000, the equipment is given to us 200,000, and then we have an accumulated depreciation equipment amount of 38,000. Some of you at this stage um, might be thinking, so will there ever be a balance for depreciation? The answer to that question would be no. Depreciation itself, it's closed off each year, so there's no carrying value for depreciation from year to year. But the accumulated depreciation will have a value that will continue into the next financial year. Right, so if we look at this question, you will see that the depreciation on vehicles is 25% per annum on the straight line method, and the equipment, the 15% per annum is on the diminishing balance method. So you'll see here, yeah, guys, with that diminishing balance method, that that carrying value of equipment is actually reducing each year. So you use that reducing amount. That's why you'll see that the balance for depreciation is getting smaller and smaller each year. Whereas the straight line method, you work on the normal cost with it not being reduced. And that's why it's always the same amount each year, that calculation. Right, so let's have a look at it. If we have a look at, um, just going quickly here, uh, if we take the depreciation apart, you'll notice that we come up with the following information. Uh, you'll see the 25% fixed installment method and that 15% per annum diminishing balance method. Those calculations you'll see are calculated as follows. Uh, what is important just to point out to you guys is that that 200,000 Rand was the original cost. The accumulated depreciation, which was the balance that was given to us, is the 38,000 Rand. We need to subtract those two amounts first and get a new carrying value before timesing it by 15%. So if you have a look quickly, the original cost minus that accumulated depreciation will give us that new carrying value, which is then times by 15%. And that is how you work out your depreciation for equipment for this question. Again, recording it, we have to do the recording of the transaction in the general journal first. And that's how we record it, similar to the previous exercise. And then you'll go and record this information through to the general ledger as well. Something just to point out of this question is that the cumulative depreciation equipment does have an opening balance. So you'd have to record that at the beginning of the financial year. That amount there on the 1st of March 20.7 would have been 38,000 Rand. All right, so I'm hoping, gents, that that's a nice quick explanation for you, nice and short, and just going through this question. Something that I haven't mentioned yet is I know that the question did mention here earlier, which I missed out quickly. They did say to us that they bought the vehicles halfway through the current financial year on the 31st of August. So you'll note that the solution doesn't actually um, give us the correct solution because it hasn't worked into account for that uh, vehicle being bought in the middle of a financial year. Right. For this solution, I'm leaving it as it is. But just going to point it out to you that what you would have done here is you actually would have times vehicles by 25% per annum. That was the rate for the full year. You would have had to halve that rate to actually work out the, the figure for depreciation of vehicles because it wasn't for the full cost of a full 12 month period. And I know the solution obviously is incorrect in our solution book, but that is how you'd have dealt with that one. Okay, Jen, so I'm hoping that's a nice quick one there for you guys and they can get you guys on and ready to, to attempt to do 10.10 .10 in your next uh, session.